here right now. Uh, psychotherapist, relationship expert. Um, you were saying that there was just a study uh, released showing that how many people have tried online dating? 40% of Canadians have now tried online dating, which I think is amazing. <laughs> that's, yeah, that, that's a large number. It is a huge number. And a lot people. of people are thinking, oh, you know what, I'm the only one who's ever tried it, I'm embarrassed about this. Yeah, but, I, well, but now it's the norm. And so it's really exciting because if you look at dating 50 years ago, you would have had to wait till the local county barnyard dance to meet <laughs> a person that you would even find remotely that's attractive. That's where Beth and I met. Right? Was <laughs> It was at the uh, yeah the barnyard dance. And that's, and that's just it. You find someone who you might want to go on a date with, but even if you go on a date, you may not be attracted to them, and you may just end up settling because they, you know, you're worried that you're not going to get another chance to find someone um, who's a good match for you. So the thing that's, that I love so much about online dating is that it's not a chance to find an online relationship. Yeah. You know, you're looking at it as a means to get an actual date, and we know. Um, from research that the more dates you go on, the more likely you are to find the person that you're a good match with. But people are still going to poo-poo the, the new ways. You know what? <laughs> go to a bar, you know, and, 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 and meet someone. But you're doing essentially the same thing. You're out there perhaps looking for a relationship. Well, it's the same thing if you're going to go surfing. You're going to be looking for a relationship as well, but you still have to be careful. I completely agree. I think you have to use your common sense the same way that you would if you were going to meet someone at a bar. So obviously, 30% um, of Canadians who do um, go on a date from online, they check out the person's profile on Facebook. They might Google the person as well. Uh, this gives, kind of gives them a way to find a bit of a background on the person as well. Um, but you have to use your common sense. And um, you know, I have a few tips of do's and don'ts for people okay. that are looking. So the number one thing is that you don't want to engage in that time suck of back and forth um, before you actually go on the date. Get to the date as soon as possible. Don't waste six months going back and forth. Yeah. It's just going to waste your time. Men, you're so guilty of this. You have this face that you do in your profile pictures, like this sexy face <laughs> that's more like that, it's like a creepy that, face that okay. women are really turned off by. So, and women, you know, we're, <laughs> we are really, wow. we are really guilty of this as well. Women, we have this face that we do. That's like a, like a person. We want to look like Angelina Jolie, right? So we, we try to purse our lips and, and kind of make ourselves look pretty, but that makes us look like we're trying to. So what kind of face are we going to do? So the ideal face to make is just a smiling, engaging face. You want to look like a real person, not like a Victoria's Secret model. So you want to make yourself seem real and Ultimately, when this person meets you, you, they have to know that you're friendly and that you can get along with them. Also, well. they're not disappointed by saying, oh, that's not the face that I saw. Exactly. That doesn't <laughs> so look from the glamour like shot it. that I saw online. All right, more information, go to kmatherapy.com. You can follow Kimberly as well at Kimberly Moffat on uh, Twitter. Thank you. Thank you very much. Here's, here's my sexy face.